Mr. Court again. Math on Monday presents Building Math Courage. Today is a special lesson. We're going to learn our sevens by learning about Kevin. Memorization is tricky for some students and so I'm providing a, a way of um, using more channels of the brain to try to remember uh, your multiplication tables. This is sort of an experiment, but let me give it a try. What we're going to do is we're going to try to have some pictures and words that help you learn or help you remember. And let's take a look at the, the uh, number seven, for instance. That is, relates to the Kevin. So, if we take a look at Kevin's shoe, that's seven times two. So Kevin's shoe is seven times two. Kevin's tree is seven times three. Kevin's tree is seven times three. Kevin's door is seven times four. Kevin's door is seven times four. Kevin's hive is seven times five. Kevin's hive is seven times five. Kevin's sick is seven times six. Kevin's sick is seven times six. Kevin's heaven is seven times seven. Kevin's heaven is seven times eight. 7. Kevin 8 is 7 times 8. Kevin 8 is 7 times 8. And finally, Kevin's pine is 7 times 9. Kevin's pine is 7 times 9. What we're going to do now is learn a story that may help you remember what the answer is to each one of these. It might help again for you to go over the pictures and the numbers on the left side before we move on. But you can pause this if you would like. Well, let's move on. Let's tell some stories. Kevin's shoe is for the team. Now have a look at that beautiful shoe. Kevin wanted to join the team, but he could not afford the shoes needed to play. He went to his grandpa's house and told his grandpa that he did not have the shoes to play. Let's look in my attic, Grandpa said. Sure enough, Grandpa found the shoes he wore many years ago. I love you, Grandpa. Kevin cheered when he got the shoes. All his teammates loved Kevin's special shoes, so they all asked their grandpas to look for the old style shoes. Kevin's shoe is for the team. Seven times two is fourteen. Kevin's shoe is for the team. Seven times two is fourteen. Kevin's tree is plenty fun. Kevin's mom was a super carpenter. They moved to a new town because her construction job ended. Since they moved to a small town in the summer, Kevin had trouble meeting new friends, and he was sad. Mom sent him to a camp to make friends. When he returned, Kevin saw a wonderful tree house that his mom made in the yard. When the new kids in town, or when the kids in town saw the treehouse, they came to play because Kevin's tree is plenty fun. Seven times three is 21. Kevin's tree is plenty fun. Seven times three is 21. Kevin's door has plenty gates. 
Kevin always wanted a special door to his room. Dad spent a lot of time in Europe. He found the perfect door for Kevin. It had many gates that he could open. He let the dog in through the bottom gates. Mom would give Kevin snacks through the middle gates, and he would fly his helicopter through the upper gates. Kevin's door has plenty gates. Seven times four is 28. Kevin's door has plenty gates. Seven times four is 28. Kevin's hive is a dirty hive. Kevin's bedroom was a mess. He called his room the hive because his mom had a real beehive out back. The bees made honey and the bees had many friends. Kevin loved honey and loved to have his friends over. They always buzzed around having fun. Kevin's mom would say, no honey, honey, till you clean your hive. But usually, Kevin's hive is a dirty hive. Seven times five is 35. Kevin's hive is a dirty hive. Seven times five is 35. <laughs> Kevin's sick with shorty flu. When Kevin started fourth grade, he seemed to get sick just before going to school. Many times his mom would call home to check on him and find and found out that he had a fast recovery and wanted to go outside and play. His housekeeper would announce, Kevin's sick with shorty flu. Seven times six is 42. Kevin's sick with shorty flu. Seven times six is 42. Ah, Kevin's heaven is Fort Divine. Kevin loved to build a new snow fort. Every year he loved to build snow forts. As the winter approached, he would dream about what kind of fort he wanted. Kevin and his friends would play all day having snowball fights with his neighbors. Kevin loved his fort so much, he would say, my fort is my heaven. So he named it Fort Divine. Yes, Kevin's heaven is Fort Divine. Seven times seven is 49. Kevin ate the 50 tricks. Kevin wanted tricks for breakfast every day. His mom knew too much sugar was bad for growing young boys. She said, you can have only 50 tricks along with your healthy breakfast. So every day, Kevin ate the 50 tricks. Seven times eight is 56. Kevin ate the 50 tricks. Seven times eight is 56. Kevin's pine is a sickly tree. Grandpa lived on a mountaintop and Kevin lived in a valley. Every winter they would bring home a pine tree to decorate for the holidays. Kevin would transplant the pine into the yard each spring. By the summer, the tree would get sick and die. Kevin learned that pines needed to be in their own habitat. In the mountains, Kevin's pine was a healthy tree. In his garden, Kevin's pine is a sickly tree. Seven times nine is 63. Kevin's pine is a sickly tree. Seven times nine is 63. Whew, those are quite the stories. Let's see if we can summarize these. And remember, it's a good idea to play this over. Pause it and see if you can remember. Are you ready? Kevin's shoe is for the team. What's that? Seven times two is 14. Kevin's tree is plenty fun. Seven times three is 21. Kevin's door has plenty gates. 
7 times 4 is 28. Kevin's hive is a dirty hive. 7 times 5 is 35. Kevin's sick with shorty flu. 7 times 6 is 42. Kevin's heaven is Fort Divine. 7 times 7 is 49. Kevin ate the 50 tricks. Excuse me. Kevin ate the 50 kicks. 7 times 8 is 56. Kevin's pine is a sickly tree. 7 times 9 is 63. Hey, thank you. This is Dirk at work, and guess what? Coming up is Learning Your Eights with Kate. Have a good day.